Muse is my favorite band currently going. There's a lot of bands that I really like that I get like every album for. Um, talking things like Muse and Cage the Elephant and Slipknot and even Red Hot Chili Peppers, but uh, Muse is the one that like I, I definitely pick that shit up fast. So um, they made enough songs to make a greatest hits album, and I decided to make one. It's two discs. It's 30 songs, which seems like that's stretching it, but like I really like Muse, and there's a lot of really good songs they made and a lot of really good albums they made. So it's hard to cram everything I like into a 30 song set, believe it or not. And this might reveal myself to be what kind of fan of, of Muse I am, and that um, I jumped in for Black Holes and Revelations. That was the album that got me into the band, and I kept listening to them pretty strongly from there. So there's definitely some latter album representation on this Greatest Hits album, and maybe not as much as with some of the earlier stuff. So I might be picking fights on the internet here with uh, with my track list, but this is going to be a long one, so here we go. Um, I'm going to start off with, with Origin of Symmetry. I, I've done this in chronological order just to keep it simple. I'm skipping the first album, going straight to Origin of Symmetry. Newborn, Plug in Baby. That's my only two. Um, there's just another, a lot of other songs I like more than some of the things on Origin of Symmetry, so Plug in Baby is obviously a no-brainer. That has to be on any serious Muse Greatest Hits album. And Newborn was a song um, that I also liked that felt like it fit on this. Um, I couldn't just do one from Origin of Symmetry. I had to do at least more than one. Maybe that'll piss you off later. Uh, moving on to Absolution, track three. Time is running out. Seems pretty obvious. I also have Sing for Absolution and Thoughts of a Dying Atheist. I don't... I don't even think Thoughts of a Dying Atheist is single. No, it is not. But I really like it, and I liked it more than some of those singles, so that's my third song off Absolution. If I had to pick two songs from Absolution, Absolution. It might still include Thoughts of Dying Atheist. So now we're into track six uh, for Black Holes and Revelations. Take a bow. It's not a single. I do not care. It's the introduction of the album, and I really, really like it. And I really like how it flows into the other songs. So deal with it. It's on my greatest hits album. I have Starlight at number seven, which is one of my favorite Muse songs ever. And I think there's new songs that come after this that people think are lame or whatever, and I'm like, it's not lame. It's in the same vein as Starlight, and I fucking love Starlight. Number eight, I have Supermassive Black Hole, which feels like the band jumping genres a little bit, and it'll be like some kind of like dancey, poppy thing, but it's still really, really good. I have Knights of Sidonia at number nine. I think that was my introduction to the band. I saw and played Knights of Sidonia and Guitar Hero 3, and it blew my mind. I was like, what is this? I need to find out. I have Invincible at number 10, Assassin at 11. Maybe those aren't the biggest hits in the world, but um, they're good songs off that album, and I just really like that album. I have six songs from Black Holes and Revelations. I'm sorry, I can't go any lower than that. Moving on to Resistance. Uprising, which is their biggest hit somehow. It's not that it's a bad song, it's a good song, but it's like, of all the new songs ever, this is the biggest hit? This is the one that actually, like, qualifies them as a one-hit wonder? How did this How did this happen? Is it because it's the lead single off their breakthrough album in the United States? That would make sense. My cats are getting into something in the other room, so... Um, if a monster shows up in the background, like, let me know. So Uprising, obviously, from Resistance, have to do a biggest hit. I have Resistance, the song itself, good song. I have Undisclosed Desires, which might be my favorite song from that album. And I have United States to be Rage. It's kind of a cut and dry list from Resistance, the, the hits, the singles, whatever. I really wanted to have Exogenesis on this. I really love that three-song suite. If I could cram the whole thing into this list, I would but I just can't do it. Uh, on to disc two. If disc one is like Muse heading up to their peak of like popularity and success, 
disc two is like the downward thing. I don't, I don't want to say it's like downward, but you know, you can't, you can't, there's, it's a peak for a reason. Like there has to be an upward trajectory and a downward trajectory. So disc two is the downward tra trajectory. I have Madness from Second Law, which is not my, not my favorite song from this album, but it is like the lead single. So you kind of have to do it. I have Supremacy, which I really like, and also just makes me think of like a James Bond soundtrack. It's like a secret James Bond movie track. I have Panic Station, which um, probably my favorite song off this album, Second Law. It just kind of like makes me think of the 80s, like you just took in the 80s and like gobbled it up and like spat out this song. It also really reminds me of Simulation Theory in general, the later album that would come about. It's kind of like Panic Station foretold um, simulation theory. At 19, I have Animals. There's probably a couple controversial picks off of this album. Animals. Why Animals? Uh, I don't know. It's just like this like groovy little jazzy menacing thing that that doesn't sound like some of the other stuff and just it's just it's just a song I enjoy I don't think it was a single at all let me check real quick no absolutely absolutely not of course it wasn't a single why would it be a single uh, I have one more off of second law save me actually um, for whatever reason, on this album only, like, the bassist got to do a couple songs. And I think, I think this might be the better of them. The second one kind of, like, reminds me of Foo Fighters a little bit. But Save Me definitely feels like, like, the most his song. So, and it wasn't a single, it wasn't a hit, but... There's not that many songs the bass sings on, and this, I think, is the best one. I think it deserves to be on this because bassist is a big part of the band. So, moving on to Drones, which is an album I really like. I don't care what you think. It's the rockin'est they've been in a while. I'm Dead Inside, just a fucking strong song, and definitely deserves to be on Grace Hits album. I have Psycho. I have Mercy, which kind of reminds me of Starlight a little bit. I have Reapers. I have Revolt. Uh, Revolt is probably the one that took the longest to grow on me, but it kind of reminded me of Queen in the end. So it was the one that squeaked onto this list, but I don't think I really need to explain Psycho or Mercy. Mercy is just an epic song, or Reapers, like you know, rocking songs. Why not? Moving on to Simulation Theory, I have Dig Down which I was tempted to make the end of the album because it's just this hopeful thing at the end of, of Simulation Theory. I have Thought Contagion, um, one of the best songs I've ever done, obviously the best song in this album. Just a really strong song that really encapsulates like the time that it was made and the time that we're still in. I have Pressure, um, it's just a good song. Good song could have been on some of their other albums, it just kind of like fits that sound. I have Something Human, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I feel like the band really likes it, and that's why it's on this. And then Dark Side. Dark Side, I feel like, is underrated. So that is my 30. Holy cow, what a journey. There's probably some songs off of Absolution that someone's going to yell at me for not including, but um, it's a big list. It'd be really interesting to see what gets kicked off with a new album because I know they're working on it. You know they got to be working on it. That might be that might be the interesting one. And now I'm just thinking of like what's the bottom ranked ones and all that stuff. I guess I'll hit you again when they come out with a new album.